In this video I will show how to put up a dipole antenna for amateur radio through the trees by using a drone. For this uh, I will be using a DJI uh, Maverick, Maverick Pro and uh, I purchased a special adapter that, mount, that mounts on top of the drone uh, that has a little server motor which is controlled by a photo sensor uh, which goes right over one of the LED lights on the drone which shows whenever you take a photograph or record a video it flashes um, and thus whenever it flashes the photo sensor then releases the motor and that's what actually drops the weight which I will be stringing across uh, some trees using the drone. Here's the actual setup a little bit closer. Here's the server motor that mounts on top of the drone and it has a wire that goes to the photo sensor. The LED photo sensor goes right over one of the legs that has the LED lights and then whenever it senses uh, a flash the motor either closes or opens accordingly. Prior to putting up the antenna into the trees I have to string a parachute cord through there which I will use with a system of pulleys to hoist up the antenna. To get the string up there, uh, I will be using the drone, uh, but first I'll be uh, stringing it up with a weight. Here's the actual weight that I'll be using to hoist up the, the string and then the antenna. This weight is attached to a fishing line, which has a little loop that will go through the server motor which will release it and hence drop the weight along with the string which I'll be able to, to attach and you know pull the antenna on. One of the best ways to make sure that your string or your uh, parachute cord doesn't get tangled up is to actually put it into a bucket. This is done by putting one end and then just slowly uncoiling it, putting it, you know, just uh, layering it on top. This way when it comes out it will be coming out by layers and it won't get caught. The only danger with taking off with the weight is making sure that the fishing line doesn't get tangled up in the propellers. This is why I put a couple of bulk beams uh, to make sure that the weight with the fishing line will be sitting down. So now I'll be putting in the fishing line with the loop with the weight on the end. So now for the moment of truth, the takeoff. So now that we dropped the weight, it is hanging right here over my head. All I have to do is just jump up and get it and then land the drone. Now that I have the string pulled through, I've attached a little steel cable to the end of the string. 
I will pull the steel cable through the tree and this is what's actually going to hold the antenna. Uh, I figured this would be a better way to hold it rather than just the string by itself. Now we'll be pulling the string and then putting it in layers into the bucket so I can use it again for the other end of the antenna. So and finally, you'll get the other end of the cable into your hand. So in total, we actually pulled the cable through three trees. Two of the cables will be holding up the, both of the antenna's ends, and one in the middle, because the antenna is 150 feet long, so it actually doesn't sag. We're gonna use the third cable in the middle, from a tree in the middle, to hoist it up or to kind of keep it elevated. To the cable we attach the pulley and through the pulley we pulled another string. This is so we can actually keep the cables permanently on the land attached to the trees and anytime we want to put up an antenna we can just hoist it up through this string, you know, using this pulley. My dad just pulled up the cable and you want to get the cable with the pulley just to the edge of the tree so part of the cable is still hanging down. Here's our 132-foot Wyndham dipole off-center antenna. And uh, we have about 50 feet that spans that way of its leg and about 80 or so feet that spans uh, the other way. And we'll be uh, hoisting it up shortly. And then uh, the other cable goes to the transceiver. The antenna has an insulator on the very end of it, which we have attached to the string which again, you know, is connected to that uh, string with the pulley on it. So now as the final step, we'll be pulling up the antenna. For the transceiver, we'll be using ICOM 7300. Also, we have an automatic antenna tuner, and then uh, power supplies, and then a uh, laptop with the logging software. The modes that we will be operating uh, will be CW, or classic Morse code, as well as uh, the new digital modes FT8 and FT4. Kilo at zero, Italy Echo X ray. 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 Uh, Roger, Roger, you're also 5'9 here in Minnesota. Alright, well, we got a pipeline to Minnesota. 